All right, so we want to find the summation, uh, the sigma notation for the summation. So if we look here, so this is going to start off at i equals 1 right here. And on the bottom here, we get to 100. So it's kind of clues there. If you look here, it's going to be like a 1 over i, but not quite because it alternates between a negative and a positive. So we have to think about this. So it's going to be multiplied by something. So in this case, it looks like we're going to have like a negative 1. And then on even um, exponents, it's going to be a positive. And then on odd, it's going to be a negative. So we can think here. Um, what would be like i minus 1? So i minus 1. So anything raised to the 0 is, uh, so if we have 1, anything raised to the 0 is 1. If we have 2, it's negative. If we have 3, it's positive. So in this instance, we have, so we're going to have negative 1 raised to i minus 1 over i. So let's just test it out really quick. So we plug in 1, we get negative 1 raised to the 1 minus 1, which is 0, over 1, which is equal to um, 1 over 1. Uh, negative 1 raised to 2 minus 1. So it's negative 1 raised to the 1 over 2. We get negative 1 half. And then we'll just test on 3. So um, negative 1 raised to the 3 minus 1 over 3. We get negative 1 raised to the 2 over 3. Gives us 1 third, positive 1 third. All right, so this is it. I mean, you could also have i or negative one raised to the i plus one, but this this will suffice. All right, hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.